Hi, I'm Barb Stone. I am the evening instructor with Climbers Real Estate School, and I'm going to show you how to do a math problem that has to do with the legal description. But before I do that, I have great news for everyone. For those of you who have not yet applied for your uh, filled out your application for the at the DBPR, the price now is only $89. So it's gone down effective July 1st. So this is a great time for you to go and do that application. All right, so here's the problem. A lot of times students find that when they're taught something in class and then it's worded a little bit differently on the state exam, they get thrown off. So hopefully this is going to help you not to let that happen. The question on the state exam says how many square feet are in this lot given a legal description? Now in class we all learn how to figure out how many acres there are, but how do we know how many square feet? For example, the, the question says the south one half of the southeast one quarter of the southeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the southwest quarter of section one township one south range one east. How many square feet are in this lot? Now, you might have learned one way how to do this, but I'm going to show you how I teach it in my class. If you take the bottom numbers of the fractions, all of the denominators, and you multiply them out, you're going to get a number. So let's take the 2 times 4 equals 8 times the next lower number times 4 equals 32 times the next lower number and if you put in the 32 in your calculator times 4 just so you can learn how to do that in the calculator it gives you 128 times the last denominator of 4 so leave that number in your calculator and multiply it by 4 again you get 512 well do you remember how many uh, acres there are in a section. There's 640 acres in a section. And if you divide it by the 512 that you get, the correct answer for acres is 1.25. But that's not the question. The question is how many square feet are in this lot? So let's take a look. Do you remember how many square feet there are in one acre? That's a number you have to remember. How many acres there are, or how many square feet there are in an acre is 43,560. Now one of the other instructors said as a memory aid, they teach their students four old ladies going 35 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour zone. I told that one to my grandson and he likes to use that. So if you take this square feet, which is in one acre, times how many acres there are, you come up with, do the math on your calculator, and it turns out to be 54,450 square feet in this lot that's described by the legal description. So did you get it right? Just look at it again, review the, uh, the video, and you'll be able to learn how to do that. So when you see the question on the state exam, you won't be thrown for a loop. Now one more thing before I leave. The most missed question on the state exam is how many square miles are there in a section? Well, we all know that a section is one mile by one mile. Well, how many square miles are in that section? One times one equals one square mile. I hope this is helpful to you when you're on the state exam. Remember to come to Climbers and have a great time.